It is I, Epic Couchies, the Mad Villager. Today I wanted to show you something that is very special to me, this game, Valley of Caron. I have been programming and designing this game for the last, well, for almost two years now. Um, and over that time, I've built up a team of three other people, Jacob V and Jelly Jake and Joseph. We're doing art, animations, and sounds, respectively. And together, we've managed to actually make a real, like, this is going to be an indie game release. Kind of thing, uh, which is kind of surprising to me. I wouldn't have expected this to happen, but it has. Uh, and since we just finished releasing the beta version 1.3.1, 1 uh, I figured it was about time to start showing it off to a larger audience. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Just let me load this world. And so I kind of just wanted to um, play it for a little while and talk to you about the game and see if I can pique your interest in playing it as well, because I'd like to get some more feedback and some more um, interest um, so that I can make sure it's the best game possible. Um, it's important to note that this is in beta right now, beta 1.3.1, which does mean there's some things missing like sprites and animations and sounds and music. Uh, all of that's going to be added and there's going to be a lot more content in the future as well. Um, so. If you're interested in playing this game and supporting me in this project, you can see the links down below. Um, to keep it separate, uh, the Mad Villager is gaming, like, for fun, and the Cloaked Games accounts are, f are um, for the development side of things, just to keep it separate. Um, they probably won't interact too much, except, you know, when I'm releasing something like this. Um, so you can see, find the links to my blog down below where I am posting basically the details of each update as well as the, you can find the links to the download of each of the most recent version of the game as well as some other games that I've made in the past um, if you're interested in that. Uh, and then you'll also find the link to the Cloaked Games YouTube channel where I'm posting updates about uh, this game and as well as interesting things like glitch videos and soundtracks and things like that. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, I really appreciate the support on the, on this kind of thing. Cause you know, this is, I might be a game developer as a, as a career. And so this could help ha make that happen. Um, at any rate, I'll tell you about the game now. Um, this is, you might have guessed basically a survival game similar to Minecraft. What do you know? Uh, don't starve and mini craft, which is a, I don't know. You can look it up if you don't know what it is. Um, and uh, Terraria, all those games I play quite frequently, actually. I'm going to build a furnace so that I can start cooking. Oops. Oh, I guess I'll need some sticks at some point. Um, it's a survival game, similar to those games, because I play them, and it's kind of what, really, what I really like to do. I just like creating things. Um, and so, in the future, there's going to be a lot more RPG elements, um, but right now it's mostly just survival. There's an inventory, uh, crafting system, a furnace, works pretty much just like Minecraft, because um, it's familiar. Um, so, you can, you, you can see those things, and then there's, but there's different things. There's monsters, nighttime, so I'm just going to play, and you can, you can take it all in. Uh, once again, the art is made by Jacob V and Jelly Jake, so I think it looks pretty nice. I'm really grateful for their help there, because I wasn't going to be able to do that on my own. Um, so right now I'm just collecting, I collected some tin ore and some copper ore. I'm going to smelt them all into ingots and make some bronze, uh, which I'm going to use to make some good tools. I think I need, yeah, I need a pickaxe next. Okay, I'll just wait for that. Okay, so I'm going to make a bronze pickaxe. I don't know if that's enough. Okay, but I need to get more wood as well, so I'm going to have to look for some wood. Uh, the trees drop wood when they're spawned. Um, just going to grab more copper and tin. Keep my eye out. There's a wood over here. I'll go grab that in a second. Um, so, currently bronze is the most powerful metal in the game. You do have to make the alloy by having the copper and the tin. Um... And there is a, this is the health bar, this is the hunger bar, and this is the cooldown, which tells you, uh-oh, here comes night. Um, 
no, the, the, the cooldown bar tells you whether you can swing it or not. If you see when I swing the pickaxe, it, it goes to white. Um, I need... I need more wood. This is bad. Hang on. I didn't prepare properly. I need to chop this log because it's in my way. And I need a sword, which I can do from tin. Let me make a tin sword. I'm going to sort them the same way I do in Minecraft. I have to get some grass so I can get some lights out. Uh, we make torches with grass and sticks. Here's some sticks. I'm going to make... Oh, there's a wisp. I wonder if I can kill it. Probably not. If I die right now, I'm going to be really upset, but I'm going to try. So there... Oh boy. Oh, I did. Okay. So this gives me a wisp of magic, which I can use for basically powerful items. The thing is, if... <clears throat> If you don't kill it fast enough, it will explode violently and beautifully. I'll probably show you that intentionally the next time I see one, because they're pretty awesome. I spent a surprisingly large amount of time working on the Wisp code, just to make sure that it looked beautiful. Um, I'm going to leave that apple there so I know it's an apple tree. And I should probably eat some. This is the health hunger bar. Obviously, when it gets to zero, you start dying from starvation. Um, I should get, I can build the beginnings of a wall around my house. Uh, oops, that's not where I meant to put that. This is just enough to get protected from some skeletons or something that might come out at night. Um, don't worry, it's not exactly like Minecraft. There's its own crafting recipes, and in the future there's going to be a full-scale story, uh, NPCs, dungeons, uh, quests, and things like that to add to the gameplay. Um, okay, what I really need now is some trees. Let's see if I can... I don't want to get caught off guard by some enemies because I don't have any armor right now, and I don't have a good enough weapon to be super confident fighting enemies. Oh, what difficulty is it? Hang on. Settings, and let's put it to hard. Uh, I am pretty good at this, so I'm going to put it on hard. Um, the monsters spawn a little bit faster when you do that, and I think the hunger goes down faster, but I don't remember if I finished that part or not. Um, so here's a cactus flower. I can use that to paste a baby cactus, and I'm just going to... The cacti eventually grow a cactus flower, and you can grab it with the interact button, which is right-click or E. And so I'm just going to grow some more cacti. Eventually I'll cut them down and I'll cook them up for food. Oh. Um, why is it... It's playing the Windows Ding song sound when I get hit. What? Uh, that's interesting. Skeletons! <sighs> Thank goodness. Okay, I got him. They're the, probably the most dangerous monsters right now. Got their, their rusted iron sword. I'll make some more torches. And it is coming daytime. I want... I want a spider. Because string is pretty useful. Okay, so there's an error right now. I don't know why it's not playing the right sound. Just just, pre just pretend that didn't happen. I'll fix that later. Um, so I got some string. What was I doing? Oh, I need some more wood. So eating food heals, oh, hang on, there, it saved. It saves uh, every every day. Eventually you're gonna be able to save whenever. Uh-oh, my inventory is full. I lost that. That's not supposed to be able to do that. Okay, let me, let me uh, write that down really quick. Yeah, like I said, it's in beta. Definitely going to have some problems. The apples are supposed to not, should not get picked when you have a full inventory. Um, you can't pick up items when you have a full inventory, but the items that, from the trees work differently. So let me just put the... There we go. That's a lot of apples I've missed. You can, it also heals your health a little bit. Um, and I'm going to make a chest so that I can store everything uh, that I don't need right now, like this and this. And that. And that. Should probably plant some more trees just so that I'm not destroyed by running out of wood. 
that can often be a bad problem. You need the wood to make light and basically everything else. And it's it's the one of the few fuels right now as well. Burn the wood to cook stuff. Uh, so I might ask, I should probably get more wood still, because I need have enough to make my, my tools. And I'm going to start looking for some more ore as well. Okay, so here's a tombstone. It reads, no one's fault. It is no one's fault but our own. So yeah, there's some bad things that happened way in the past. Just pretend like it's all good. And yes! Okay. So it gave me a rusted sword, which is, I think, about the same as a tin sword. I don't remember for sure. And yeah, I'm safe. Sometimes they spawn ghosts, which is perfectly reasonable. I mean, you just destroyed someone's grave. But I kind of wanted some of the good things to come happen. I really want, you can get armor from them sometimes. That's what would be really useful right now. But Okay, I need to add a range thing on the mouse. So uh, if you don't move the mouse, the excess parts of the inventory fade away. Um, but if you move it at all, it pops up. I think I need to make that like if you move it more than an inch or something. So that just natural wiggling around from my hand, not actually using the mouse. Uh, doesn't make it pop up. So I need tin and copper in about even amounts so that I can make more bronze. So I'm going to focus on this tin here. I have 19. I'm also trying to get more stone, but I guess I do by default from here so that I can make the more parts to my house. Um, I think this tin is more valuable. So I'm going to get that instead of go so I got 18 and 19 that's pretty close um, you can also make tin and copper tools as well it's just not as as cost effective but they are easier to get the resources for and I will grab these seriously what's up with that that window sound I need to be careful because the cactus will hurt me and you know I'll cut them down to get some some food you can bake the cactus to eat it. Oh, I wasn't close enough. And a little bit more. Perfect. And I'll grab a bit more. Still not close enough. I'll grab a bit more wood. So I'll probably only play for the rest of this day and the night. Which will put it as about 20 minutes-ish. The day is 4 minutes and the night is 4 minutes. Um, what should I cook first? I need more... Oh boy, here comes night again. Food? Is that my priority here? Yeah, it is. Food is the priority. It should always be the priority. Like, I don't need my tools necessarily. I can wait for those longer. Oh, hang on. I'll blow up this wisp. I, I kind of ignored it. Now get out of here. Don't, yeah, that's what it looks like. Looks better at nighttime when it's like really dark. Oh boy. I'm afraid this guy's gonna kill me. Oh, here, best plan ever. Come out here, dude. Yep, yeah, there we go. He ran, he killed himself on the cactus. Let's head up to the night. I guess to make it... This one needs to be moved over. Hang on! This whole thing is not symmetrical. Hmm. This one isn't either. Wait. Sorry. This is... This is... We're going to make this perfect. Don't question it. Okay, now, should I... I'm just going to ignore him. He's passive unless you uh, hit him with something. Um, so there. Just filling in the walls to make sure I'm kind of semi-safe from monsters. I 
guess this doesn't really keep me totally... S oh, gosh, there's a skeleton and a spider. I don't know if you can tell the spider's there. But oh. Hmm. Yeah, I just died. I think the skeleton hit me once and the spider bit me. I was pretty low on health. At any rate, I never said this game was easy. And so I guess we can we can just load it up again. Yeah, this is a part. No, this was before I lost all the apples. Nice. Um, so yeah, it does save at the beginning of each daytime. So we just lost a lot of stuff, but what did it not? It must have missed a day. Now I'm confused. Oh well. I'll just play for a little bit longer. Um, I think I want... Hmm. You know, oh, you know what I'll do is I'm going to use some cheats and I'll show you some of the cool things you can do. Uh, if you have enabled cheats, there is a give command. Uh, this is one of the most fun items. Oh, also, you don't usually get 200 durability. I just do that by default. This is the Staff of Blasting, which basically harnesses the power of a wisp oh, and, and deals a lot of damage if you're not careful. Uh, there is armor in the game. I don't need all that. You can press delete to kill things. Uh, armor, bronze. And that puts your armor points up. Your damage gets flat reduced by that. No weird percentage stuff because I'm just tired of weird percentage stuff. The damage gets reduced by the number of armor points and has a chance to just to take durability from the armor. Uh, there's long range weapons. Let me clean up some of them. what? What? Okay. Um, long range weapons will give a bow. Um, and you have to put the ammo in the ammo slot. And you can you can shoot stuff. Oh, here we'll shoot a bird. Die bird. <laughs> you can cook the poultry. Uh, birds you basically have to kill with a bow because they fly away if you get too close. But they are one of the, the best food in the game right now. Um, then there's also you can you have armor, chest plates, and then you have the helmets, and then you can put them together to have the best armor. Armor is crafted from rope, which comes from string. Oh, and I guess I should show you, if you click crafting, you press escape to go to the menu, you press crafting journal, you can see all the recipes listed here, which is an inefficient way to do it, um, but it, it works for now and there'll probably be something better in the future. Uh, possibly systems for unlocking uh, the recipes to show up in the list, uh, but you definitely always be able to craft every, every item, even if you haven't technically learned it yet, because I just believe that's part of how a survival game should work. Uh, you got the bees. They give you honey. Oh, I, I can't pick it up. Hang on. Honey. Oh, stupid grass. Let's go over here. Doop. Butterflies, which do nothing. So far. Maybe they'll do something in the future. Who knows? Um, I see. Did I miss anything? No, that's most of the really interesting stuff. I like the, the stuff of blasting. is definitely the best thing the game right now, you craft that with bone wood and a wisp of magic, this thing we got from the wisps. Um, you can build doors and houses. Um, yeah, in the long run, like I said, there's going to be some more RPG elements and a ton more stuff to explore. Oh. Uh, lots of food and just, you know, general survival game stuff. So anyways, like I said, if you want, if you're interested in playing it and you want to support me and the other three guys I'm working with in this project, uh, there will be links in the description to my blog and my YouTube channel uh, where you can download this game. Um, if you're interested in seeing more videos over here, I suppose you can you can tell me that in the comments. Otherwise, there probably won't be too much more of this on this channel. I'm going to be mostly keeping it on the Cloaked Games channel, but I figured I'd let you all know. Um, oh, I missed. Darn you, bird. Um, I don't know if I... Oh, here. I'll... I'll make it nighttime and summon a spider too. Here. Here. Um, so yeah. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. And if you have something to say, leave a comment. I like reading comments. Um, if you really liked the video and you want to see more like this, well, uh, you should subscribe to the Cloaked Games channel. Not this one. This one doesn't have much more of this. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all later.